What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to this faction focus uh, where GW are talking about how Chaos Space Marines work with the new edition. At least that's sort of the impression I'm getting is. Um, so this is different from the other um, section updates that we're doing like uh, the other video I talked about large models and infantry. Uh, this, is, this video is just purely going to concentrate on the Chaos Space Marine faction update at least i think it is i'm just going to read what it's got here and i'll stop at appropriate points if i need to um okay first thing it says is who is frankie and why should i care i have no idea who frankie is uh frankie is part of the team that runs some of the biggest independent warhammer 40,000 events in the world well that's pretty uh pretty big, including the Las Vegas Open, the Bay Arena Open, and the recently announced Southern California Open. Okay. An avid player for years with an impressive tournament record, he's also been part of the playtest team for the new edition of Warhammer 40,000, putting in hundreds of hours to make sure that this new edition will be great for all you gamers out there. Thanks, Frankie. Playtesting, hey? Play testing. Play testing this new edition. The best news you could um, give us, I think. Anyway, so basically he knows his stuff. Today, we start a new article series where he and a few others will talk about how the new edition is going to affect specific factions and what units they think we'll be seeing more of. We start with Chaos Space Marines. Take it away, Frankie. Okay, so I'm guessing this is Frankie's words now, because this is Frankie's guide to Chaos Space Marines. Hello Wargamer community readers, Frankie here from the SoCal Open Gaming Convention to talk to you about the alleged bad guys of the 41st millennium, and some of uh, what to expect from them in the new Warhammer 40,000. Chaos Space Marines. Okay, so maybe they're actually pretty bad, especially after Abaddon's, uh, I, don't, I never say Abaddon, 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 Abaddon's success in destroying Cadia. But we all know the False Emperor is the real bad guy here. I myself have always enjoyed playing Chaos. The models are incredible and their backstory is the best. The interactions between the Chaos Lords is amazing as well, as most of them don't respect or even like each other, but will join up to win battles and earn glory for Chaos. My favourite thing about Chaos is the demon engines that they have in their armies. They do look good, I have to say. Flying mechanical space dragons, breathing warp fire that burns your soul. Sign me up. Chaos armies usually lean towards close combat, which is not what you normally see uh, from a lot of armies in Warhammer 40,000 currently. Chaos has a solid control of the psychic phase as well, with the nasty sorcerer cabal that has been rampaging across the tables around the world. Very fitting for an army that largely calls the warp home. The troops you usually see on the field are the bravest humans in the galaxy, the Chaos Cultists. The Chaos Champion will challenge any foe that is willing to accept, no matter how powerful they are. He usually doesn't do anything that would impress the Chaos Gods, but at least he is willing to try. Now for the moment everyone has been waiting for, so how does Chaos play in the new edition? It's been a long time since we've seen Chaos Armies with a lot of power armor on the tables, but no more. In the new edition, you will be seeing a great many Chaos Armies, and a lot of them will have power armor in abundance. Yes, you read that right. You will want to have Chaos Space Marines in Chaos Space Marine armies. I'm just gonna adjust my, adjust my camera here for a second. Oh, excuse me. So it's sounding good so far. All right. Make sure to dust off your Havocs and gear them up for business as they are going to be helping the galaxy burn, baby. The changes to heavy weapons have made these guys a great choice to help defeat the deluded lapdogs of the Emperor. Right, gonna have a sip of tea. So, okay. So it is all leaning towards what I hoped and dreamed for, that assault would 
be better if we're going to see more armies leaning into the um, assault type that's going to be good for me it's going to tick some boxes for me I cannot remember the last time I saw Havocs on the table and this, it is a very welcome sight. Make sure to have a fully stocked arsenal as those LAS cannons, auto cannon, missile launchers and even you better believe it, heavy bolters as they are going to be doing plenty of work in this new version of Warhammer 40,000. They will provide excellent cover fire for your Chaos Terminators which will now strike fear into the hearts of your opponent as they bring devastation to the battlefield where they are least expected. That's great because I'm still I'm painting up a Chaos Terminator. Awesome. Abaddon has always been a bit of a disappointment to me. I have tried to play him in countless armies but he often just ended up poking himself in the eye with Draconian and not accomplishing a whole lot. Well, how about we change that around and allow Abaddon to kick some serious Imperial tail? Okay, how are you going to do that then? Your wishes, Games Workshop's command. And now Abaddon has the rules to stamp, to stomp face all along the Crimson Path. No surprise here. But he's claiming credit for the Great Rift. Cadia was just the first step. He is a force to reckon with and inspires his legion allowing them to dominate the battlefield with an incredible ability which I will not spoil for you here. He is also a monster in combat as his backstory would suggest tearing people apart with the Talon of Horus and Drak Nguyen I say Nguyen because I don't know how you pronounce it Imperium be prepared for the Black Legion to cast an ominous shadow across the galaxy once again as stated above your Demon engines will be rightly feared as well. With the changes to rules we've seen in vehicles, these furious engines of destruction no longer need to worry about being destroyed by a single las cannon shot as they prowl the battlefields. Lastly, I want to talk about some of the most savage close combat fighters in the galaxy, the Corn Berserkers. These guys are supposed to be feared for their brutality and combat prowess. Well, guess what? They will be. Start fearing them now. Corn will be pleased with this newest iteration of Berserkers. Very pleased. One of the key things that makes these blood hungry units so good is the change to charging. As now they will get to swing first in a turn in which they charged. No more getting wiped out before they have a chance to hit anything. What about chain axes you ask? You will want to arm all your blood for the blood god warriors with these bad boys. Wait, blood for the blood god, what does that do? I guess you will have to wait and find out when these warriors hit the tabletops, but trust me, blood and skulls will be reaped. That is truly just the tip of the iceberg too. So many units have languished on the shelves are going to rise up from the ashes to wreak havoc on the, havoc on the tabletops and provide hours of fun. Well, I hope all you Chaos players are as excited as I am about the new edition. Uh, make sure to get all those unfinished Chaos models ready for battle so you can hit the table, hit the tables and planets in style. We'll be back in a few days to hear from Reese about the Astra Militarum. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Astra Militarum. So I've started an, an Astra Militarum. I mean, I've got a tiny Chaos Force, so all good it's oh, knocking the camera around it's all sounding good um and i'm loving it um yeah so just uh watch that space i guess thanks for watching this uh faction focus yeah faction focus and how it relates to the new edition i will see you on the next video remember all brushes lead to war please like share and subscribe um Bye for now.